Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, you'll learn how to avoid data sampling in Google Analytics. Sampling can occur when you apply a segment to a report or customize a report where there are over 500,000 sessions in the property for the date range you've selected. When this happens, Google Analytics will use a portion of those sessions to create the report. So the metrics you see might not be the same as the raw unsampled ones. The quickest way to reduce sampling is to reduce your date range. But what if this isn't an option or you don't want to change the date range for your report? Well, we're going to look at how we can use supermetrics to avoid sampling. Let's get started. Before we look at supermetrics, let's quickly take a look at how we can see if our data is being sampled inside Google Analytics. We're using the Google Analytics demo account, and we're currently looking at data for the month of December. We can see that there are just over 71,000 sessions, so we're well below the 500,000 threshold before sampling kicks in. Let's start by changing the date range. Let's select an entire year for our date range. We can now see that we're looking at over 830,000 sessions. To check for data sampling, we can look for the shield icon at the very top of the report. When the shield is green, it tells us there is no data sampling. And when the shield is yellow, it tells us that the data is sampled. Let's click on the icon. We can see that the report is based on 100% of sessions, so there isn't any sampling. Now you might be wondering why, since I did say that sampling occurs when we have more than 500,000 sessions. The good news is that when we're using the standard reports, so any of the reports we find under Audience, Acquisition, Behaviour and Conversions, these reports include unsampled data, like we can see here. This is because data for these reports is pre-processed for us. Sampling occurs when we request data that hasn't been pre-processed by Google Analytics. For example, when we apply a segment, filter the data, apply a secondary dimension, or create a custom report. Let's navigate to Behaviour, then Site Content, and All Pages. Again at the top of the report, the shield icon is green, so there is no sampling. Now let's add a segment to the report. Let's select one of the default segments. I'm going to apply the organic traffic segment to the report. We can now see that the shield icon is yellow, which tells us our data is being sampled. Let's click on the icon. This tells us that our reports are based on 59.12% of sessions. You will notice that it says greater precision. We can switch this to faster response if our reports are taking a long time to load. This will use a smaller sample to create your reports, so in most cases you'll probably want to leave this as greater precision. Now we're going to look at how we can use supermetrics along with Google Sheets to reduce data sampling for our reports. I want to highlight this is just one approach you can use to reduce sampling. Let's head to Google Sheets. Before we get started, it's important to know that we can't access the Google Analytics demo account using the Google Analytics reporting API. Since Supermetrics uses the reporting API to pull data into Google Sheets, this means that we can't use the demo account. So we'll need to use another reporting view that we have access to. I already have the Supermetrics plugin added to Google Sheets. So I can select Add-ons, then Supermetrics, and launch the add-on. If you're not using Supermetrics yet, then you can learn more about Supermetrics in the description below this video. Now we need to select Google Analytics as the data source. If you're using Supermetrics for the first time, then you will need to authorize Supermetrics to access your Google Analytics data. Then you need to select the reporting view you want to use for your report. I'm going to select two years for my date range.
and I'm going to select the metrics for my report. I'm going to select some of the metrics we saw in the All Pages report. I'm going to select Page Views, Unique Page Views, Average Time on Page, Entrances, and Bounce Rate. Now I'm going to select Page Path as the rows or dimension for my report. I'm also going to increase the number of rows. Now I'm going to apply a segment. I'm going to apply the organic traffic segment to my report. Finally, under Options, we can enable the option to show if data sampling has been applied, and we can enable the Supermetrics feature, which will try to avoid data sampling. Now let's click the button at the top to fetch our data. The note in the first cell tells us that the data has been sampled, so this isn't giving us what we were hoping for yet. We have a few options here. We can simplify the data we're requesting. For example, we can reduce the number of dimensions and metrics we're using in our report. We can add the date dimension to our report, and we can use supermetrics to combine data from multiple date ranges. Adding the date dimension and ensuring that the avoid sampling option is enabled is a good way to reduce sampling using supermetrics. This also lets us combine data from multiple date ranges. The downside is that we will have a lot of rows in our report to manage. This might mean that you need to aggregate data before you have a final report you can use. Let's start by removing one of the metrics. I'm going to remove the unique page views metric from my report. Now I can apply the changes. And we can see that we're now looking at unsampled data from Google Analytics. OK, but what if we want to include unique page views in our report? Let's re-add the unique page views metric. And let's add the date dimension. and apply the changes. We can now see that we have unsampled data in the report. Just remember that the data will now be limited by the number of rows you have requested. This can be adjusted by selecting the Split By option and selecting the number of rows to fetch. Finally, let's look at a simple example of how we can combine data in our report. Let's change the date range to 6 months. and change the metric to Users. Let's select Date and Channel Group as the dimensions. And we will apply a segment for people who viewed the shopping cart and then started to check out. Under Options, we're going to select Combine New Results with Old. This lets us run the report multiple times to combine data from multiple date ranges. Now we can apply the changes. We now have unsampled data. And we can adjust the date range to the next six months.
and run the report again. We are now combining data together in a single report. That's it. So that's how you can avoid data sampling with the help of Supermetrics. Since we need to recreate the reports we want inside Google Sheets, it can take a little bit of extra time to get up and running. Once you're happy with your report, you can even set it to update automatically. And if you want to visualize your data in different ways, then you can also pull your report from Google Sheets into Google Data Studio. If you want to learn more about Google Analytics, then join me in my Google Analytics course, where you'll learn practical skills you can apply to your own account. You can find a link to join the course in the description below this video. Do you have any tips you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.